Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we will be discussing about adding and subtracting radicals. Okay, and just a side note for you guys just always remember treat the radicals as variables. Now, why do I why do I say this? Remember when we are you know, when we are trying to add or simplify um, variables or similar terms. Okay, uh, let's let me give me an example. Say you have six x plus seven x. Okay, remember what we do here is we copy the variable and we just simply evaluate the numbers. And six plus seven is just simply thirteen. Okay, and another one. Say I have um. 7x squared minus 3x squared. Again, you copy the variable and also the exponent and just simply evaluate the number. 7 minus 3 is just simply 5. So, we have 5x squared. Now, in this case, um, I did told you guys to treat the radicals as variables because that is what we will be doing with the radicals. We will just copy the radicals and simply evaluate the numerical coefficient that we could call it. Yung mga numbers sa katabi ng ating radicals. Okay? So, let's have an example for us to better understand. Say, I have 3 square root of 6 minus 4 square root of 6. Now, in this given, sabi ko nga sa inyo, if the radicals are the same, just like in similar terms, okay, you treat them as variables. Copy the radicals and evaluate your numbers. And, I will have 3 minus 4, and 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And remember, si negative 1, just like in variables, or just simply 1, pag may katabi siya, nahihiya siya. It hides itself. So therefore, your final answer would be just simply negative square root of 6. Okay? Another example. Say I have negative 11 square root of 21 minus um, 11 square root of 21. Now, let's try to check first our square root of 21. Can square root of 21 still be simplified? Um, 21, can it be divided by any perfect square number? So, if not, then therefore you leave it as is. Kasi, katulad ng discussion natin ng first uh, video, we try to simplify if, if possible. So, you check 6. Can 6 be divided by any perfect square number? Kasi we are on squares here. If not, then therefore just leave it as is. In this case, we cannot. So, copy the, va the radicals. Okay? And then you ask yourself, what is negative 11 minus 11? Okay, and you might that might confuse you, but just remember the um, the evaluation of integers. So this would give you negative 22. Okay, another example. Say we have um, negative 10 plus ah oh, sorry, negative 10 square root of 7 plus 12 square root of 7. Since uh, 7 is already a prime number, therefore we don't need to um, change it anymore. So you copy it, and then you ask yourself, what is negative 10 plus 12? Um, the answer would be simply 2. Because negative 10 plus 12 is 2. So 2 square root of 7. It's quite easy actually. It's just simply copying the radicals. Okay? Quite easy. Now let's say we have, <coughs> for a while, say we have... Um, 2 square root of 6 minus 2 square root of 24. Now, in this case, in this case, in this case, you will definitely see first, uh, on the first time that you would look at the given, that, sir, you cannot answer this because the radicals are not the same. That's why we discussed the first, um, in the first video, that if you cannot, um, if you would have a radical, you will try to eval uh, simplify it as much as you can. So, let's try to isolate isolate this one first. So, let's just take the number itself and not the operation, okay? So, you have 2 square root of 24. I did told you guys that whenever you will have a radical that is like, say, a factorable, try to look for the factored form of it. And since this is square, you will look for a number that you can divide this 24 with, but that number must be a perfect square number. And the perfect square numbers are 1, 4, 9, um, 20, uh, 16, 25, and etc. So, you can, you can divide 24 by 1, but that would be useless. You can divide 24 by 4. And dividing 24 by 4 will give you 2 square root of 5, sorry, let's, let's bring the 4 first. 4 times 6, yeah. 
4 times 6. Okay? So, 4 times 6, of course, you will notice that this 4, it has a square root, right? You form a square root. So, therefore, you take the square root and take it outside. The square root of 4 is 2. So, therefore, you will have 2 times 2, copy, and then the square root of 4, it's this one, square root of 6. Okay? And then, of course, 2 times 2 is just simply 4, square root of 6. Now, we know that this 2, square root of 24, is equivalent to this value. So, therefore, I can change this one. And your given now would be 2 square root of 6 minus 4 square root of 6. And again, now you will see that the variables are the same. Copy the variable, evaluate the number. Okay? Let's have another example. Um, negative 2 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 27. Again, very visible in this given. Hindi pwedeng i-add. You cannot add them or you cannot subtract them. You cannot evaluate them. But again, you will try to evaluate the big one, the one that is factorable. Okay? So, you will have 3 square root of 27. Here, let's try to isolate this given. Okay? 3 square root of 27. This 27, we will try to find a perfect square number, a PSN, that we can divide it with. Of course, 1 is possible, but we don't take that. 4 is not. 9, I think 9 could be. Okay? And this would be 3 cube root of 9 times 3. You can try to check in your calculator if 9 times 3 is definitely 27. Yes, it is. Then you ask yourself, what's the square root of 9? Ilalabas ko siya. I will take it out. The square root of 9 is 3. So you bring out 3 here. This is the original 3. Okay? And this other 3 is just simply the square root of 9. Okay? So, you will have 3 times 3, square root of 3. And this would be 9 square root of 3. Change this one. Negative 2 square root of 3 plus 9 square root of 3 is equals to, same na sila, right? Same radical. Therefore, copy the radical, evaluate the operation on the number only. So, that would be 7 uh, square root of Another example, um, say we have 3 square root of 8 plus 3 square root of 2. Now, look at the given again. Definitely, eight, cannot, uh, 8 square root of 8 and square root of 2 cannot be combined yet. 8 can be factored out, so we take it. We take it. Kunin natin si 8. This would be equals to, remember, you will tr if this is square, then you will look for a perfect square number. If that is cubed, then you will look for a perfect cube number. Okay? In this case, of course, this would be 4 times 2. 3 times 4, uh, 3 times square root of 4 times 2. And 4 has a square root, right? We will take it out. 3 is the number outside. You multiply it by the square root of the number inside, which is 2. And whatever is left, this is the only left var uh, number inside. So, we will have this. And we will have 3 times 2 is 6, square root of 2. And this would be 6, square root of 2, plus 3, square root of 2. And it will give us, copy the variable, uh, the radicals, I mean, and then add the numbers, being 6 plus 3, the answer is 9, and you will have 9, square root of so, this definitely works, guys, when it comes to cubes as well. Okay, so let's try something na cube. Um, let me invent something na lang para uh, I cannot... Okay, say we have um, 4 cube root of 24, okay? Minus um, 2 cube root of 3. Yeah. So, now we will be working with cube roots. Then, therefore, this one cannot be simplified because it's just simply 3. This one definitely can be. Okay? So, what would happen here is I will take this 4, cube root of 24, and I will try to look for the factors of 24. Now, instead of taking PSN, perfect square numbers, we go to perfect cube numbers. And ano ba yung mga PCN? We have 1, we have 8, we have um, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4 times 4 times 4, let me, I think it's 64. Yeah, 64. 
64 and so on quite big pero still so of course it's 8 so we'll have 4 cube root of 8 times 3 right and this would be 4 8 has a cube root you can try your calculator the cube root of 8 is 2 the number outside the cube root of the number inside times the square root of 3 because that is the number that is left okay so we will have 4 times 2 the answer is 8 cube root of 3 and then we will bring it back here 8 cube root of 3 is it minus 2 cube root of 3 and 8 minus 2, the answer is of course 6. Copy the same. Yan. So whatever would be your index or the root, may it be cube root at most na, at most na natin is cube root, or square root, it, the rule would be the same. You will treat your radicals as variables, and at the same time, if you can simplify the radical, please do so. Okay? So that would be all for our discussion for today. If you would have any other questions, you can go to the video again. Or of course, you can um, ask me in our class. Um, that would be all. Thank you for listening and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.